Hey guys, Monochrome here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Genuinely good to have you. Short video today, we're going to take a look at a neat item that I stumbled onto by accident on Etsy. And it has actually become part of my EDC. And you're looking at it here. The key, that's not important to you guys, so just ignore that. But the item is going to be this skinny, slightly long, soft leather key fob that you see here. Now, this is made by an individual on Etsy whose store name is Charred Embers and Oak. And I will have the spelling of it in the description box below along with a couple of other details. So when this video is over, yes, please be sure to check the description box below if this is something that interests you. Now, basically what this is, is a hidden cash stash. It's designed to hold one bill folded over several times until it fits inside. Let's take a slightly closer look. Now when you get this, it's going to be very soft leather. It has to be because as you can see here, it has white stitching all the way around and oh, hold on, that is not stitching. That is the very top of a bill folded over in half several times and then inserted into the fob. That's what it is. The other side is exactly the same, only it doesn't have this slit right there. Mm -hmm. So the other side is exactly the same. Now I own two of these. I own one that has my initials engraved on it. That's why I'm not going to flip this over to the other side. But yeah, the other side looks exactly the same as this without the uh, little open area for inserting a bill. But looks exactly the same. Now, I guess engraved isn't the right word. It's embossed or embosed. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. Anyway, you can get your initials stamped into the leather or your name up to six letters. They're going to stamp it on the other side and this side, that's where you insert the bill. Now, this isn't just in case you get mugged. Okay, you get mugged you still need to get home, you need money to get home, well, there you go. You've got a $20 bill or a 50 or a 100, although honestly, a 20 is going to be a lot more uh, practical. Now, this works best if you have a brand new, clean, crisp bill. Used bills, which are extremely soft, that's going to be a problem getting them to fit all the way in here once you folded them over several times. So just go to the bank, get yourself from the teller a clean, crisp, brand new $20, $50, or $100 bill. And what you're going to do is just take it, fold it in half, fold it in half again, keep going until it fits through here. And now you've got some extra emergency hidden money on you. The best part is, you know, even from a couple of feet away, if this is on a table and maybe a waiter or a waitress walks by, they're not going to think anything of this. Basically, the seller on Etsy uses white stitching, and when you've got the bill folded up and in here, 
This looks like from a bit of a distance as though it's just part of the stitching, which is excellent. That's what you want. Now, they have to use soft leather because if they used hard leather like this, I mean, it just wouldn't be flexible enough to insert the clean, crisp bill. This is an example of just an ordinary leather key fob. No secret compartment. This one, ideal for an American bill. European money, sorry guys, haven't tried it, don't have any European currency on me in the form of paper money. But yeah, this works great. This isn't just for in case you get mugged, but this could be for an individual who, and you know who you are, if you're one of those who frequently runs out of the house and, oh crap, I forgot to go to the bank, or I forgot to grab some money off the counter. Or, you're one of those people who hates carrying cash, seriously, reconsider that philosophy. You're at the store, just picking up a couple of items you need. Oh, the machine went down. Sorry. Guess what? You've got some cash on you. And this is also useful, especially for young women who are dating. And this is one guy who knows that mothers tell their daughters, hey, listen, carry some hidden money on you, tucked away, just in case the guy is rude, obnoxious, aggressive, and won't take no for an answer. Maybe even if he grabs your purse, get away. Take some extra money with you. Keep it hidden in case you need to call a cab. So this is one way you can have a bit of extra money. In a situation like that, yeah, take some extra money with you and hide it in at least a couple of different places. This is a good idea for one of those places. Now here's how it is. This is the um, most crisp single bill I have on me. So we're going to use this as the demonstration. What you're going to do is you're going to take this Fold it in half, make sure it's even on the edges, mm -hmm. fold it in half again, again making sure everything's nice and even, crisp bill, crisp. It has to be new, it has to be crisp. This will not work well at all with a very soft used bill. Fold it over again, there you are, and then what you're going to do, okay, what you're going to do is just fold it in half one more time. There you go. Make sure everything's nice and even, no overlap, nice and even. This is what the bill is going to look like just before you insert it into the slit on one side of the key fob. That's what it'll look like. You just insert it and only the very white top or off-white top is going to be showing. And from a couple of feet away, it's just going to look like it's part of the white stitching. So very useful very handy. Once again, this is made by an individual with a shop on Etsy. It's called Charred Embers and Oak. And the particular item I showed you is called the Secret Stash. Again, check the description box for a couple of more details. 
this is the part where I have to mention that I bought this with my own money. I am not sponsored by this individual. I am not affiliated with this individual in any way, shape, or form except as a customer. That's it. I bought two of these. They are a bit expensive, but they might be worth it for you. And again, just a great way to conceal a bit of emergency money. So I just wanted to make you guys aware of this particular shop on Etsy. Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of Etsy. I buy a lot of stuff on there. I mean, it ranges from being a very pleasant experience to a tolerable sewer to an absolute vomit-inducing cesspool, depending on which seller you're dealing with. Etsy has a lot of problems, a lot of issues, mostly stemming from the fact that they let literally anyone sell on there. So, I mean, I've had some very pleasant experiences on that website. I've had some very nauseating experiences on that website. This particular seller, I've purchased twice, two different secret stashes, never had an issue. So there you go. Now, I also just want to say that it's rather unfortunate that we need products like this in our world, but that's the way it is, especially when you just need some cash in order to get home after you've been mugged. All right, guys, that's it for today. I guess the video went a little bit longer than expected. Oh, well, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Please continue to stay safe and maybe the secret stash is something you could use to do that. Take care, guys.